Hi there, I wanted to offer up something a little bit different today. So today we're doing a fascial flow, a great thing to do if you found yourself inactive for a little bit and you want to get things flowing. This sequence is to help um, open up the cobwebs of the fascia. So don't feel like you have to follow along, along exactly the exact same patterns that I'm doing. Do the patterns that you feel you need in your body today. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Inhale, bring the arms overhead. Exhale, bring the hands in front of the heart in Anjali Mudra. Every time we come back to this position of the hands, I want you to use the same amount of pressure or the same amount of work or effort between your shoulder blades as you are putting pressure between your hands. So let's do that one more time. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, match the effort between your shoulder blades with the amount of pressure you're putting in between your hands. Inhale, you're gonna spin the hands Exhale, look down towards your bottom elbow and bend that same knee. Inhale, come on back to the center. Exhale, other side. Inhale, come back to center. Same thing, but looking up at the top elbow. Inhale, back to center. Other way, up to the top elbow. Inhale, back to center. Inhale, the arms overhead. Looking down at your bottom arm, you're gonna drop Drop, drop, and reach. Bounce, 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 and reach. This time looking at your top hand, reach up onto tippy toe, top hand, up onto tippy toe, Anjali Mudra, match the effort between the shoulder blades. Inhale the arms overhead, make it swing, 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 swing. Next set, you go up onto tippy toe, and Anjali Mudra. Reach back and curl in. Extend, curl in. One more each side. Curl in, extend, curl in. To the side and reach. Same side and reach. Other side, reach. Other side, reach. To the front, curl. Same leg, curl. Other side, other side. On the diagonal, diagonal. Other way, other way, arms overhead, Anjali Mudra. You're going to place the hands behind the pelvis, roll the shoulder blades open, sorry, roll the shoulders open, kiss the shoulder blades towards each other in the back. Come into a baby chair, curl the toes under of one foot and come back up on an inhale. Exhale, curl, inhale up. Same leg on the diagonal. For those of you who have trouble getting the front of the ankles other side flat when you're in kneeling or four point, this is a great way to open up the tops of the feet on the diagonal. Arms overhead, Anjali Mudra, match the effort in between the blades. You're gonna lean it into a little bit of a chair. Slide the leg around. Slide the top of the foot and flick the toes. Open and around, curl under, flick. Open and around, curl under, slide, flick. Open and around, curl under, slide, flick. All the way up, same thing on the other side. Into a little bit of a chair. Open and around, curl the toes under and flick. If you want, you can add extension of the spine here, rounding here, your choice. One more time. All the way up, Anjali Mudra. Come back into your chair. You're gonna place one hand in between the thighs, other hand on your sacrum. Step one leg back. On your exhale, turn towards the bent leg. Circle that arm one, two, swing it up to come back to center. Come into chair, other hand goes between the thighs, step the leg back into a wide lunge. Sorry, hand on the sacrum. Turn the body towards the bent leg. Circle the arm one, two, let it swing you up on the third one. <clears throat> Circling the wrists. You want the hands and wrists to be touching each other. One more time in this direction. 
And same thing in reverse. And then the last thing, we're going to go into a tree pose, placing that foot wherever works for you. Whatever position of the foot you choose, you want to match the effort of that foot pushing into your standing leg, standing leg pushing into your foot, so that you feel the support through your center. <clears throat> one hand faces up, one hand faces down. Press the hands into each other, but then match that effort with the work between your shoulder blades. If you feel steady, you're now going to circle or windmill the arms. At first, keeping your eyes gazing forward. If you feel solid, you can take your head and eyes with you in a middle bubble. And come on back to one hand up, one hand down. Match the effort with the work between the blades. Slide the foot along the inner thigh all the way down. Release the arms, and we'll do the same thing on the other side. So place the foot, it can be different on one side than the other, where you're comfortable. So find the position that works for you, wherever you choose. Match the effort of foot pushing into the standing leg, standing leg pushing into the foot. That will help you zip up through the inner thighs, pelvic floor, deep abdominals, solace and diaphragm. To give you that support from the inside, one hand faces up, one hand faces down. Press the palms into each other and then match that effort by pulling the shoulder blades towards each other in the back. I'm a little less steady on this side, so if you're steady, go ahead and windmill the arms. Start with the eyes looking forward. If you feel solid, start to add the torso and head turning with the arms. I'm going to stay here on this side. And come on back, one hand up, one hand down. Slide the foot along the inner thigh, all the way till it gets back to the floor. Shake out the hands. <clears throat> We're gonna finish here. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, hands come back to Anjali Mudra. Again, kiss the shoulder blades together in the back so that the effort between your shoulder blades is matching the effort of the chest muscles. Now you're gonna lift up all 10 toes and the arches of the feet. So the parts that stay on the floor are the knuckle of the big toe, knuckle of the baby toe, center of the heel. So you want to suction those three points, I call it the tripod, into the floor as you lift all ten toes and arches of the feet. So stay here and as you do that lift, notice how it wakes up or tones the muscles along the inner thighs, pelvic floor, deep abdominals, psoas, through the diaphragm and even through the neck muscles. So it's like we're getting this lift from the inside of the body. Now you're going to keep that lift so you're gonna keep those arches lifted, but see if you can spread the toes long and wide, and try to lay the toes back down onto the floor without letting go of that effort in the arches, inner thighs, all the way up that chain. And pause here for three breaths, eyes open or closed. One last breath. Thank you so much. I should have mentioned at the beginning, you might notice that I'm not even using a mat. I think this sequence, first of all, we don't stay on that rectangle. Plus, it's just nice to have that different proprioceptive feedback by having our feet firmly on the ground. And as soon as it's warm enough outside, I would encourage you to do a sequence like this on the grass, on the sand, on the pavement. Give your feet that different feedback. It really helps to stimulate the body in a different way. I hope that you enjoyed that. Try to use it every time you need a break 